everyone welcome back again and in the previous video we set up our Laragon setup and we also did many things so here I'm going to uh, recap these all of the things so the very first thing is we installed our Laragon we installed our Laragon setup right and uh, then we added a new project in the Laragon directory so now question arise that where we need to add our projects to run them out right so you need to run them um, you need to add this into the ww directory of Laragon and here you need to add a directory name and then you can uh, add your project so for example my project name is test right and if i want to run a project uh, i'm running this project and my index file is in the test directory so i can instantly uh, run this out like this so if i go here and visit this out to uh, index.php hit enter and here just type this uh, hello okay and uh, just go back and here if i visit this out to uh, so let me also turn this on okay it's already turned on and uh, if i go here it's not created the domain no it's but if all created without any notification and yes we have opened but it's not created the domain it's opening this without the domain right if i go here stop this out and run it again so it will automatically create the domain for us right click on this start all and it will show us a message here that oh, domain is created or automation host is on something like this it's not to on to us so now let me visit this again test and yes now it's created this domain right test dot test right because our project name is test that's why defining test dot test okay so now i don't want to create the directory inside this test i have a subdirectory right uh, subdirectory and in the subdirectory i have this index file right so how to run this out so as similar like you are using this in the xamp or ramp so you need to uh, specify here test slash sub slash then hello right and it's working fine and uh, here for this you need to uh, remove this uh, uh, remove this uh, domain and then you need to recreate it after when you restart it it will be automatically recreated so in this way you can uh, create the domains for the different uh, hierarchy levels okay we edit our project we are running this project successfully with the domain and now the question comes that how we can change the different uh, versions so for example our project contain the 7.4 or 7.3 version so how we can switch to this version so just go to the php official website which is php.net and uh, here you need to find your specific version and download this version right and after downloading it uh, successfully you need to uh, unzip this file and add it into the laragon directory right so which directory you need to go to the bin directory and then you need to find the stuff so here you need to download this zip file for according to your version right okay and uh, then you need to add this into the bin slash php and the php you need to specify your version which version you want to download or you can also do it from here that you can add the automated path right so just go here quick app uh, not quick app just go to the, go to the tool path and just add laragon path it's up to you in which way you want to add this path okay right and after this we also learned about how to open the database so if i go here and uh, you can also click on this database but it's opening the default one and here if i go here and open this how uh, to let's go to the mysql and here you can uh, click on this mysql and ql so let's wait for a moment and it's displaying that demo dot is but i want to open this this one is our database right so you can open this out like this and yes this one is our database is opened here so in this way you can open your database and create different to table and stuff like that right so it's up to you and after this uh, we will also learn about uh, how to set up the path 
right we already, already discussed about this and uh, i think um, that's it for this series uh, there is nothing else which is remaining we running our project running our database switching to the different versions and believe me it's very useful and very easy to switch between the version right so you don't need to if you don't want to change your version from the environment part so you can just go here click on this php and you can update the php version like here and click on this and yes it will be instantly switch on this php version and if you type this like cmd so it will look at that uh, your php version is uh, as, as it's describing right 7.4 and you can also instantly switch this out so if i go here uh, let me go here and click on this pochi version and it and it will now tell us that our version is different right so it's not updated because our terminal is opened uh, previously right so just go here and open it uh, again and then run this again right php hyphen version hit enter and it's still opening the 7.4 why because it's only changing the cli version cli means it's only changing the command line version so make sure to correct this out your cli version and your environment version would be same you need to go to the environment file and then change this uh, similar as you have a cli version right so in this way your pro project will be run properly and uh, that's it for this series and if you like this series don't forget to hit the like button and also share your feedback that uh, uh, how this series is uh, helped you right and uh, if you like this series uh, also suggest uh, comment on in the comments box that uh, which series you want to to learn so i will try to shoot these series very soon according to my schedule so thank you so much for watching this videos and i will meet you in the next series so stay tuned bye bye